and let's load it up. Oops. Okay, now let's load it up. And what this will do is it will load up all the images into the browser cache first and then we can have it start the slideshow. So let's look at what the syntax should be. It's actually quite simple. I'll copy this. So this load images function comes from this jQuery plugin. So let's replace this here. It takes an array and let's make this a little easier. And 20. And we'll close off the array, comma, and it takes a callback function. And how that works is that this is a function it will call once it's done loading all of these images. So that'll be nice. It won't start the slideshow until it's done loading all the images. And what our callback function will be, function and we'll close that off. It's what we had before, which is to start the slideshow. So how this works is when the DOM is ready, we'll load all the images. When all the images are loaded, we'll start the slideshow. So let's see how that works. We'll reload here. And it should be pretty quick, again, because we're loading these files locally. So now we can make sure that we won't have that stuttering start, as long as we've got the memory for it. So that's pretty nice. Now what happens if we don't have JavaScript enabled? Let's reload the site. Now we're back to how it was in the beginning. So that looks a little bit lame. What I'd like to do is, since we need JavaScript to have the slideshow, what I'd like it to do is just display the first photo if JavaScript's disabled and simply not advance it. So how should we do that? Well, there is HTML does have the no script clause. And there we'll just Actually, I'm going to convert this to a class. Call this dot slideshow. And dot slideshow. So that I can use another instance of it here. div class equals slideshow. And I'll just use the first photo. Oh, how about I use the last one? So I'll put that in here. So this part will only be executed by the browser if JavaScript is turned off. And you can probably predict what will happen here as I reload. Is we still have all of these. And then we have the last one twice. This all of these are from this code here that's still executed even if JavaScript is off. And then this one came from the additional load from here. It would be nice if there was a maybe a yes script uh, tag that we can put here that's only execute this if JavaScript is turned on. But there's not. So what we need to do and actually thinking about this more, let's convert this back to an ID tag. And we'll call this 
ID slideshow Node.js. There's other ways to do this. Uh, some people might be cringing as they see me do this. And so we'll just make another class dash Node.js. There. And then this original ID, I'm going to set display to none. Okay, now JavaScript still disabled. I'll reload the page, and now we just have the one photo. And it won't advance because there's no code to advance it since JavaScript's turned off. So it's actually using this line to load that last photo. It did execute this, but since it's display none, then it didn't show all those photos on top of each other. Of course, that leads to another predictable problem once we turn JavaScript back on and reload, is we'll get absolutely nothing. Because now it's not executing this script, or this code, and now all of this is still hidden. So how do we make it so that if JavaScript is enabled, we'll show the slideshow? Well, that's very easy. In this line where we initialize the slideshow, we'll chain in the jQuery primitive show, which will set the display to block. And then it'll start this slideshow. So let's reload. Now it's showing the first photo, and the slideshow takes place. We turn JavaScript off, reload, and we get just the last photo. So that's a nice fallback if JavaScript's disabled. Now, one, there are several weaknesses with this method. One, it's, it's a little hard to maintain with all this loading, but I think that's an okay price to pay. The other problem, though, that's more important, if I load in the activity monitor, is that this is not processor cheap. Um, as far as I know, there's no way to, hard co to uh, hardware accelerate this slideshow. So if we look at how much time Safari is taking, between, oh, well, maybe I should show this, between the slides, it's actually not so bad. But as it loads new slides, it peaks up to, looks like about 25% or so. So not horrible, but not great. And there's really not much chance of improvement besides getting a new computer, a faster computer. So I'd say that's a weakness. Uh, is it better than Flash? Well, it kind of depends on how intensive the Flash is and whether it's on in an environment where it's hardware accelerated. So that is our slideshow, and it's very practical to use. Uh, there are services that will do this for you. Um, and I've seen several photographers' websites that use this method, and it is great. So hope that helps. Uh, um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments, and I can see if I can help. And uh, hope uh, you get some nice slideshows on your websites.